Hi, my name is Celia Buchanan. I'm the National Artist Educator for Marabou North America. Today I want to talk to you about our art spray. Art spray is an acrylic, it's an extremely low viscosity acrylic and it's delivered in a German cosmetic grade pump so you get a really nice fine mist when you spray with this. This will go on to all sorts of surfaces. Any surface an acrylic will stick to, the art, the art spray will stick to it as well. So I'm going to show you first and foremost on a sheet of watercolour paper. So again, I'm just going to place a stencil, one of our stencils down on here. Just spray that right on top. Take this off. These colours are extremely vibrant. And the art crayon is a water soluble crayon that I used on top of a canvas panel here. And we'll put that like that. And that gives you the beginning of something. That again, you can start to work on with your mixed media applications. And this will be dry within probably an hour, thereabouts, um, and completely cured within 24. It also works on leather, it works on other acrylic mediums, it will work on canvas, paper, uh, wood. Uh, it's extremely light, fast and very permanent. I'll show you a little technique using some alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol. And we'll just drip some colours, put some of the alcohol onto the colour and have it move around so you can create some really nice uh, different types of techniques with this. This is in a spray bottle, you could spray it as well. It takes a few moments for the colour to start to activate but you can begin to build up some really nice interesting backgrounds with this and textures. Um, depending on the type of paper that you use, you're going to get slightly different effects, but as you can see, the alcohol's pulled the colours into the paper, and it's almost given it like a sort of shark skin type texture. You can see the sparkle colours a little bit on there in the gold, and then I use that over the angler fish, give them a sort of slightly iridescent look. So this piece was done with the same technique of moving the stencil around and placing it and spraying and re-spraying, building up some nice texture. Um, this piece has been done completely uh, with art spray. There's no other product on here, so you can use it, as I showed on the piece of watercolour paper, you can use that like a watercolour wash. Obviously, when I was moving uh, the stencils around, I had masked this area off with some uh, film or frisket film or something similar just to uh, enable that area to stay clean while I was spraying. There was nothing else on here bar our spray. So once you've placed the, uh, sprayed the art spray on there, you can also come back in with the art crayon and you can work on top of it and move color around and add other colors on top of here. So Art Spray also works really well over our mousse, uh, which is a fluffy um, medium. It's a ground with a slight texture to it. I'll just show you what that looks like here comes available in eight colours. Let's put these on here. You can smooth them and work, put texture into it, which is kind of cool. And that's going to dry with that texture in there. So I have a piece here that I did earlier that's dry. So it goes there. 
Okay, so I just put my stencil down onto a piece that had uh, the mousse on there already and it's dry. It's on a wooden panel and just... That gives you a nice piece. Again, that's on the textured mousse and it could be the beginnings of something to start building up for mixed media. So the mousse, the art spray and the art crayon all work beautifully together on a multitude of surfaces. Mm -hmm.